Welcome back to my channel. I just got back from the farmer's market and Trader Joe's and I'm gonna be prepping all of my ingredients and produce so I can make lots of different healthy recipes this week. This way I don't have to eat the same meal every single day. I'll have different ingredients ready to go for salads and veggie bowls and different types of recipes I wanna make. With this week's meal prep, I made these sushi bowls, some wraps, a bunch of salads, smoothies, and juices. If you're new here, I've been making these meal prep videos pretty regularly, so make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I eat mostly plant-based, so these are gonna be mostly plant-based recipes. Let's just get started. I'll show you what I'm gonna make this week. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I'm gonna make is some homemade, oil-free, refined, sugar-free granola. I'm gonna make some yogurt granola parfaits. Also, while my oven is going, I'm gonna prep some other things in here all at once so that everything can like bake together. So I'll show you what I'm gonna make. I like to use these rolled oats because you should always buy organic oats that are glyphosate-free because non-organic ones are sprayed with glyphosate. So I like these ones. One and a half cups of oats. Two tablespoons of any nut butter of your choice. Cinnamon. I'm using some date syrup, but you could use honestly anything you like, like maple syrup or like homemade date paste. Some pumpkin seeds. Mix it up again. I'm gonna stir it around after 15 minutes. Let's work on the next thing I'm gonna put in the oven so that I can have a few things baking in the oven at the same time. So next I'm prepping my favorite baked mushrooms. You guys have seen me make this recipe a couple times, so I'm just gonna do this really fast. I love to have these sprinkled on top of my salad for some chewy texture, or they work great inside of a wrap. And mushrooms are seriously so good for us. I try to eat them every single day. And this is just one way that I like to add them into my diet. But mushrooms help strengthen our immune system. They boost our body's natural killer cells, which helps destroy cancerous cells. It smells so good. It smells like Christmas cookies. They're also linked to lower breast cancer rates because mushrooms contain aromatase inhibitors. They also prevent other cancer cells from growing and dividing. That's why I include them in so many of my recipes. To my mushrooms, I'm gonna use some spray olive oil. So it just needs like a little coating to get the seasonings to stick. Then I'm gonna add some of this table blend salt-free seasoning. This is one of my favorite salt-free seasonings. This is from Aldi, but it's like a knockoff version of Mrs. Dash. I'll try to find it on Amazon so that you guys can try it out. Some chili powder, a little bit of spike seasoning. This makes everything taste so good, but you have to be careful because it's really salty. And then I'm just gonna mix this all up. All right, so before we put the mushrooms in, let's take out the granola. Oh yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Now for the granola, just let it sit here and it needs to rest for like an hour. I always like to prep a protein option that can go on top of salads or in wraps. So today I'm gonna bake some tempeh. This is my favorite way to prepare tempeh. I bake it with some liquid aminos, miso paste, lots of garlic, some type of sweetener, I'm using date paste, some black pepper, and some veggie broth. 
and mix all that together. It's kind of like a homemade easy teriyaki sauce. Then add in your tempeh and stir it around to coat everything. And even though I'm making three packages, this will be gone super fast. Me and Colin just like devour anything I meal prep. But yeah, I like adding these on top of my salads for extra protein. And this week I made sushi bowls. So these were perfect in my sushi bowls. And if you make a sandwich or a wrap, you can add this to it. Then I just popped that in the oven along with the mushrooms for about 25 minutes stirring it every 10 minutes so everything gets coated evenly. And I'm gonna take these out and stir them around. Back in these go. You guys, this granola, I'm letting it cool down. It's really good. I'm so glad I made this. So I've been saving this bag of veggie scraps in my freezer and I'm gonna make some veggie broth. This is mostly onion peels and some peppers. I'm gonna throw some carrots and celery in here because it's mostly onion peels. I'm gonna add some celery, two carrots, and these tomatoes are going kind of soft so I'm gonna add these in. Fresh oregano and rosemary for my garden. dried out now oh these are perfect normally I just let them sit in the hot oven while it's shut off and they get like even more dehydrated but since I'm baking the tempeh I can't really do that so I'm just gonna let them cool off on top of the oven but they are nice and like chewy and slightly dehydrated how I like them next I'm gonna start prepping some of our produce I bought a cantaloupe this week Colin loves cantaloupes so I just love having some fruit ready to grab in the fridge. So here's what I picked up from the farmer's market this week. I got some bok choy, lettuce, kale, cabbage, and carrots. And I'm just gonna give everything a good wash so it's all ready to use for the week. So I'm using my favorite fruit and veggie wash. This is from Trader Joe's. I think it works so good at cleaning my produce. Even though I show myself doing this every single week, this is the one thing that really helps out so much during the week because I try to eat a salad every single day and washing it all at once like this just saves so much time. Like it only takes me like 10 to 15 minutes and then I have all my stuff ready to use for the week. And it's not so much a chore to make myself a nice fresh salad. Then I just set everything on this dish drying rack to drip dry. So I just dumped the water outside to water my plants. And this is all the dirt that's left over at the bottom. Super dirty. And repeat the process with the rest of my veggies. They're getting a little bath. And then this is what I got to make green juices with this week. I have some cucumbers, apples, and celery. Just giving all that a rinse. And then my produce is all nice and washed and I don't have to do that much prep work during the week. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is make a couple breakfast parfaits using my granola. I'm using this Trader Joe's Organic Creamy Cashew Cultured Yogurt. Honestly, I don't really love this on its own, but I'm gonna add in some protein powder to add more protein. I'm gonna add some of this to this mixing cup. Add in a scoop of this veg protein powder and mix it up. And you don't need to add the protein powder, but I've been lifting weights 
regularly, and so I've been looking for ways to add more protein in my diet. You know what this kind of tastes like? Is like cheesecake filling. Cause it's a little bit tangy, but it has like vanilla. It reminds me of cheesecake. Another tip I have for you is using frozen berries. They're picked in season. And um, I love this berry cherry berry blend because you can get a variety. So it has lots of antioxidants in it. Here's how our granola came out. Came out really good. Look at these masterpieces. They look so good. With the rest of the granola, I'm gonna put it in an airtight jar. I feel like I've already like eaten half of this as I've been meal prepping. This week, I'm not gonna prep any salads. I'm just gonna leave my lettuce in these containers. And my leafy greens stay super fresh like this. I swear they last like two weeks sometimes. But this way I can make new salads every day and I can also use my leafy greens in juices and smoothies. And they stay super crisp when I store them like this. Oh, our broth is done. Do you remember all those mushrooms we made? Well, this is how much they cooked down. And me and Colin kept eating them. And here is the tempeh. See how it just absorbs all the moisture? I'm gonna shred up some of this cabbage to put in my salads. If you thought I was done, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna make my favorite quinoa and lentil mixture in my Instant Pot. I have two Instant Pots. I bought two specifically so I could meal prep lots of things. So let's prep some. If I had done this at the, at the beginning of this prep, it would have saved so much time because it could have been cooking like as I was working on other stuff. People always ask me how long these preps take. Well, it's been two and a half hours so far and I'm pretty much done, I'm just gonna put the quinoa in and then wait for it to cook. But yeah, it took me about two hours to do everything that you just saw. So really not that bad. And it saves like so much headache and time throughout the week. I'm gonna fill it with about four or five cups of water. I'm gonna cook this for 10 minutes. And I wanna buy those little cubes that you can put in the freezer so I can freeze individual portions. The last thing I'm doing is making a couple dressings and sauces I can use throughout the week. So the first thing I'm making is a spicy mayo to go with my sushi bowls. I'm using a half a cup of soaked cashews and a quarter cup of hemp seeds, along with one garlic clove, the juice of a half a lemon, and about two tablespoons of sriracha. You can use a little bit less if you don't want it to be too spicy. Then add enough plain unsweetened soy milk to cover. I think I used another like three fourths of a cup and blend that up until it's creamy. And this seriously came out so delicious. It was super smooth and really tasted like spicy mayo you would get at a sushi mm. restaurant. Oh, so good. Then I'm just making a plain cashew cream sauce that can be used in like a variety of different ways. You can use it as like a spread for a sandwich, like a mayo. You can use it as the base for a dressing or you can add it to pasta to make a it cream pasta. So I'm just blending up cashews, hemp seeds, garlic, and lemon juice. Cover it with enough milk. Basically the same thing, but without the sriracha. 
And here it is, just plain cashew cream. And then finally, I waited for the quinoa to cool down and I'm just putting that away. Honestly, this giant ice cream scooper is so handy for so many things. And here is everything I made for this week. I have my granola and parfaits for breakfast, mushrooms and tempeh to go on top of salads or in wraps. I have all my quinoa and all of my produce prepped. This is seriously such a huge time saver during the week. And if I didn't have all my stuff prepped like this, I just would not eat as healthy and make as many salads because it turns into such a chore when it's not all prepped like this. Anyways, next I'll show you some recipes that I made this week. First is my sushi bowl. I just heated up the quinoa, tempeh, and mushrooms. Then added in some shredded cabbage, carrots, and the spicy mayo. And some avocado on top, it was really yummy. We made this a couple days for lunch. Then I also made this veggie wrap using the cashew cream as a mayo. Added in some lettuce, carrots, onion, tomato, avocado. This is not chicken, it's actually made from mushroom. It's like a mushroom cutlet. I wanted to put my tempeh in this, but I came home and Colin ate the last of the tempeh for lunch. So I'm using these mushroom pieces. And here's just an example of like a basic salad I would make with all my ingredients. And we also made lots of smoothies and juices as well. Thank you so much for joining me for another meal prep video. Let me know what other types of videos you want to see on this channel. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!